Joey DeSena. Thank you for that introduction. That's Billy from Game Chasers. Check him out. And thanks for everyone coming out. Um, maybe we should do a quick intro of everyone um, while we're here. My name is Pat Contry. I've been doing a series for four years almost called Pat the NES Punk. I also do something called Flea Market Madness. And uh, yeah, four people have seen it. Okay, <laughs> to my right we have Justin Carmichael. Maybe you can introduce yourself a little bit. Hey everybody, oh, I'm Justin Carmichael. I'm uh, also known as Jew Wario, the J-Dub on uh, That Guy with the Glasses and Blistered Thumbs. Thanks so much for coming out. I've been doing video game reviews for uh, just a little over three years now. And uh, yeah, I think we can help out over here. Oh, we have the next to Pat. It's a, it's a mic you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're very well prepared. Everyone gets one. Are we skipping you, Pat? I, did I, did, are, are you awake, James? I, I thought I introed myself. Oh, barely. <laughs> okay, how about James? How about you intro me then? Uh, this is Pat, the NES punk. Hey, I like that. Hey. That's great. Right. Hey, like that. <laughs> Where are you, James? I'm, I'm, I'm the nerd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a good one. And uh, my name is Joey DeSena, uh, uh, also known as Rue from Clan of the Grey Wolf, and I've been doing video game, or reviewing, essentially, for two and a half years. I do 16 Big Gems and The Way Games Work, which is a technical look at... Uh, thank you. One person saw it. <laughs> at video game technology. So. Thank uh, you. How do I start this? <laughs> so where is that? Start is the hardest part. Slideshow, okay. This, get ready for the, the, the most hardcore PowerPoint presentation in history. Whoa, okay. I think it's an accomplishment just that we got that on there. Did you so, even change the basic font there? <laughs> you can change fonts? Is that <laughs> So basically, um, this panel came about uh, from a couple of things that happened. James and I shot this video in October of 2010 uh, in his basement. I don't know how many people saw that. We basically just discussed the ins and outs real quick of like, you know, video game reviewing, editing, tips, what were some of the pitfalls. And then when we came to Magfest, like a week before, James is like, yeah, I think it'd be a cool idea if we can speak about that. I'm like, well, thanks for telling me really soon, James, because we couldn't get a panel uh, last year, so we figured we would like to do it this year. And so, um, let's go to the next slide here. So what will we be discussing? Um, techniques of game reviewing and video production, start to finish. Some behind the scenes info, we'll probably ask each other about, hey, how did you do that? How did you get a girl to actually kiss you in a video? I don't know. Um, and you know, behind the scenes info. And what will we not be discussing? We will not be discussing what's our favorite game. We will not be discussing what's our least favorite game. And finally, my hair is off limits. So. Thank you very much. But you're still walking the line. Okay. So I, get, uh, I, I picked Joey to talk about subject and research. We're going to kind of cut in when we can. So take it away, Joey. I have no idea why you picked me for this. But. <laughs> All right. So there's a few things that I, I keep in mind whenever I'm doing research. I try to keep my research. Uh, crap. Oh. Spill. Uh, <laughs> I try to keep my videos about half research and half review. Uh, hopefully I don't get electrocuted here. Oh, um, let's hope. That'd make it entertaining. Uh, so the first thing you do is uh, figure out what it is you want to review. Uh, and I like to stick to things that I know, uh, things that I'm passionate about, and I encourage other people to do the same. Uh, 
you know, people recommending games and so forth, I always listen to, and I've actually picked up a few very interesting titles just from people's recommendations, but uh, something like Earthbound, something like uh, Terranigma, games I've played and I'm, I just really know very well and I can kind of speak from the heart about how great these games are, if you want to speak about how great they are, some people don't, I guess. <laughs> so that's, that's a good place to start on what you want to talk about, uh, assuming you're doing video games or really anything else, any sort of video production for that matter. Do you, have you ever like seen something that kind of spurs you to maybe uh, review something or make a video about something you would, have, you would never have done before? Um, nope. Okay then. <laughs> Justin, what about you? Done any research and found Well, I mean, uh, have you ever like thought about, okay, I'll, I'll, I never thought I would do a review on this certain topic, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I really want to. Oh, yeah, yeah all the time. Uh, sometimes uh, I'll, I'll play a game and I haven't touched it in a while, and, and all of a sudden I'll go, oh, you know what, I forgot how much fun this game was, and I'd really like other people to play it, because, you know, to find out, it, you know, remember how enjoyable it was for me, and I'll do that for me too, so yeah, all the time. So once you pick your subject, uh, it's actually on to the research and where to start. And please hold your groans until after I'm done explaining myself, but as pretty much anyone who's uh, been in high school or college the past five or so years knows, Wikipedia is your friend. Uh, now I don't mean just use that as a primary source, but I mean it is an amazing collection of of Colossus screams. <laughs> it's an amazing collection of like the sum total of human knowledge, so it's a not a bad place to start. Uh, luckily, most good articles are sourced. Uh, never take any one fact at face value. I don't care where you get it from. It can be a it can be an actual physical book. Just because it's printed by some publisher in New York doesn't necessarily make it true. Um, so check your sources. If you're reading from a Wikipedia article, if it says a game came out in 1994, I've honestly found years incorrect uh, from various video games, uh, which is, you think someone would have noticed that, but it's amazing what gets forgotten in 20 years. But. Well, sometimes I even check things like three times, like yeah. three different sources, That's just true. to make sure. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, researching a video right now. It's been taking me almost a month so far, but, and there's a part of it on the history of uh, Enix. And it's amazing how little is actually known about the history of this company and how it started out. But uh, yeah, check your sources. If, if something comes up and shows up multiple times from multiple sources, then that's probably a good place to, uh, you know, you can probably take that as pretty much gospel. Uh, and you can have like Japanese release dates and US release dates. It gets pretty confusing sometimes. Certainly. Yeah. Um, you guys got anything else on, on sourcing, where you get your sources from? Well, I mean, um, you, a variety of places you could always, you, there's lots of gaming forums out there by, I mean, you're big into the Earthbound, uh, Joey, so I mean, there's people out there that know more than probably people that made the game about the game, so you, I know for something like that you would go get as much info as you can, and you can always ask people. Um, I go to a site sometimes called NintendoH.com, which is like very, very, very hardcore NES collectors, and sometimes you ask them, they know a lot about how games developed, or you know, when things, why, why certain games were published by certain companies, things like that. And I guess that's a very good point about primary sources. If you can get something, like a quote or something from an interview from someone who worked on the game or whatnot, then that's, I mean, that's gold. If the guy actually said it, uh, then, you can I mean, you can at least take that as a primary source, so uh, that's, that's the kind of stuff you really want to look for. Uh, next up, um, what can you trust? Well, I kind of already went over. Wikipedia is a good place to start. Don't take anything at face value. Um, there are other uh, reviewers out there who make videos and, you know, they might not source well. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because a lot of people don't, like, put a list of sources. I know I, know I don't. Uh, that's me neither. Yeah, it's, it's mainly laziness. We just plagiarize all of us. We just yeah. <laughs> source. Pull the footage off of YouTube. And yeah. Just, you know. uh, uh, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta be careful even if you're taking things from any of us, you know. Yeah, you might learn something here or there, but not everything is gospel that we say. Certainly. Uh, I know I've made mistakes. Hey, that brings us in a nice segue to our fourth bit. Whoa! Mistakes! mistakes. And you're gonna make them, because everyone does. We're all human. Uh, I kind of have a little contest in my head to see how long from the time each video comes out until a commenter says, Hey, you got this wrong. Hey, you got this wrong. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Uh, that's not a picture of... Um, 
a European master system. That's the Australian version or something like that. Like, I don't know because I didn't grow up there, but, but it's still wrong, you know. As you can tell, it still doesn't hurt him at all, though. It doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't think about it day no. and night. No, I see. Any, any sort of factual correction. I mean, people come out with their opinions. That's a, that's a crappy game. What are you talking about? I mean, that's that's opinion. That's kind of different. Uh, but I mean, seriously, you're going to make mistakes. Don't take it too hard. Try your best to avoid them. I mean, actually attempt to source and, and research and so forth. Uh, if there's something funny, like some kind of funny fact you want to say, but you're not sure it's really a fact, you can still say it, but just make sure that you, you also say, now I've heard this rumor that that's what I do a lot of times. Yes, that, that's very good. If something seems to be a rumor, at least just say it's a rumor. But, uh, here's a good one, something about uh, Dragon Quest Three when it was released in Japan. There's this big thing that supposedly, oh, it caused such a disruption, it was released on a weekday, that the Japanese parliament for us said, no, you can't release Dragon Quest games on weekdays anymore. False. That's a, that's a rumor. <laughs> Very popular rumor. But if something kind of tingles in the back of your brain and you say, that sounds kind of weird, double check that, triple check that. Um, but mistakes will happen, so don't take it too hard. What's uh, any other mis any big mistake examples anyone has? I have an example. I mean, maybe someone can help me with this, but uh, I've heard that at the, I was playing the Bible games and I heard at the end of uh, uh, Spiritual Warfare, I heard the final boss was a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> and I was like, that is hilarious. I, I need to beat this game and see that pack of cigarettes. Guess what? There was no pack of cigarettes. Oh, oh, I, was, I was ready to just walk out now and play it just to see that, because I had no idea. So I don't know if I missed something. <laughs> if anybody has any information about it, let me know. But. Yeah, is there any hardcore spiritual warfare fans out there? <laughs> One, how many people have heard of the game Spiritual Warfare here? Okay, from, how many from James' video? Yes, the same people. Exactly, that's my point. <laughs> So any any mistakes you've made, uh, Justin, that no, you regret? <laughs> Actually, I, I, the funny thing is, I, I'm always catching uh, mistakes at the very last minute in my credits. Uh, maybe I'll put a subtitle down and I'll have typed it wrong. You know, I'll put a B where a W should be. And frack! So you know, it, double, triple check. I always went. I watch my videos once through. Then I rip it from Final Cut into the MOV file. Then I have it rendered, and then I watch it again because just maybe in case something happened and uh, the audio goes off or something, you know, or, or it's one channel, you know, or or I make a mistake in there and I'm oh, you know, I, I made a mistake with that uh, that the letter or you know the the picture's off and it just was in such a rush. It happens, you know, even if you've been you're done. <coughs> Well, most, most of the time, if, if, I, if I get caught in a mistake or something, I'll check it and I'm like, oh, damn, you're right. And I'll say something in the comments like, yep, you're correct, I was wrong here. If it's something especially egregious, uh, I might address it in a future video. Like, I think I said that Earthbound was released on Virtual Console in Japan, and I'm not sure exactly why I thought that, but I didn't check it at all. And then people are like, oh, I think you're wrong there. I, I smell BS. And I was like, you're right, Southern Stereotype. <laughs> uh, and so I addressed it in the next video, which also happened to be on Earthbound. Surprise. Shocking. Uh, yeah, no. And uh, I said, look, cause th that completely misrepresents uh, a, point, a giant point I was trying to make about Earthbound not being released in the US. So, you know, if you get caught, be, be like reputable newspapers and own up to it if necessary. Anything with you, James? Any big mistakes? Uh, um, the only thing off the top of my head was, uh, yeah, I can think of a couple things. Um, one time, it's not game related actually, but still fits in the same category. I think I said uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory um, didn't come out in Germany on its original release. And actually, it was only certain parts of Germany. So I was close, but uh, it was, um, you know. But uh, the other thing I said, uh, Oh, I can't even remember it right now, so I'm going I'm to uh, add more to the mistake now, but uh, the, uh, and, uh, I did a review of Street Fighter 2010. What was the guy, the purple guy? Um, Troy? I, what? Troy? No, uh, something I said in the video, I said like, what? Grimace, there you go. I said Grimace from uh, Sesame Street. Grimace is not from Sesame Street. Luckily, I caught it, but um, it, was, it was one of those mistakes where you just have like a brain fart all of a sudden, and it's just like... James is no difference between Sesame Street and the dog. <laughs> 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 I 
never watching you again. <laughs> so basically, to recap that, Rue, you'll make mistakes, right? Yeah, just, you know, if it's especially egregious, like Grimace, own up to it or something. <laughs> or better yet, catch it before you release it. Hey, Farback, how do you know about Sesame Street? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, when I was a kid, I loved the count. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on, then.